guys, we're making a sweet staircase thing here. And we gotta marry this small piece of rock to this small piece of rock. This is a granite, about nine inches thick. And I have scribed, we set this guy right here and I scribed with this crayon, the line to marry these two together. And now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna go about cutting that. I'm gonna basically score it almost like we're, we're not cutting it like we're, we're cutting a board with a saw. It's more like, Mike, you're scoring sheetrock. We're gonna give it a spot. So I'm gonna score that with this wet saw. All these tools, I have other videos that describe some of these tools, but we're gonna score that with a wet saw and then we're gonna use the magic of a feather and wedge and we're going to pop that off and it's going to be wonderful. Check it out. Okay, so we use a three quarter inch drill bit and these feather and wedges. This is granite and, and even within granite, there's different hardnesses and softnesses. The softness is a word. The, the most effective use of these wedges is in harder material. It's almost like, think about glass breaks easier than, than kind of a sandy, concrete -y type thing. Uh, so it, it, almost all varieties of granite works pretty well, but the harder the better. It's a pain in the neck to drill the harder stuff, but once you're in there, there's just no give. It's not absorbing it. That pressure that you put on it is gonna show up somewhere. We did use water to help the grinder along. So these, this is the feather and wedge system. There's your center wedge and these are the feathers. So this is a three quarter inch hole and as you start driving this down, it's just pushing and pushing and pushing. And the pressure that this is creating, the out, outward pressure is more comparable to dynamite than anything you could imagine. It is incredible, the, uh, the PSI that that creates pounds per square inch. So we're gonna set those, and I was somewhat strategic in where I put, because I'm trying to cut an S turn, and I want, I'm gonna have this squeezing pressure, and I want to connect these dots. We don't wanna overdrive on one uh, point either. We wanna keep the pressure comparable as we go. So you put your feathers in, get it started. And I even put one in the front because I don't want to, I don't want this thing to crack off to the edges. So I'm even going to put a little pressure on the front too. And we're going to tap these things in even Steven. So we're going to increase pressure as we go. And you're gonna increase the size of your hammer as you go too. We end up sometimes when we're doing this on ledge or something, we have a 16 pound sledgehammer. That's the kind that real men use. And uh, and that the, these and these feather wedges, you gotta kind of consider these semi uh, disposable. They're like 12 bucks. I'll put a link. I think you can get these on Amazon. Uh, but if you lose one, if you break one, so be it. It's part of the cost of of amazing breaking of huge stones and you have to be listening Ooh, I just heard that thing crack so you got to be listening as you go and kind of get a feel of where your pressures are it's going to pop can you see it popping can you hear it I oh hear and it. I can feel it now it's got soft watch this watch this boom shakalaka oh happy day it's important to do a little dance when it works and then move on with your day